On the previous video we created the enemy scene, which we will be using on this video as a template or a base for our first enemy. So let's go ahead and create a new scene, but instead of creating a normal one, we're going to create an inherent scene. And as a base scene, we will use the enemy scene. Click open. And you can see that we have now pretty much the same as the enemy scene. Along with this icon indicating that this scene inherits the enemy scene. And by clicking on it, we can clear inheritance or open an editor the base scene. I'm going to rename this node enemy kamikaze. And save this scene in the scenes folder as enemy kamikaze.tscn. This enemy wants to be a square, so for the sprite, let's assign the enemy kamikaze sprite. The width of the sprite is smaller, so we have to resize the shape. So in the shape node, I'm going to edit its shape and set the X extension to 12. Now there is a problem here, and the thing is that a rectangle shape is a resource assigned to the shape property. And as a resource, this has a path of where it is defined. And the path in this case is in the enemy scene itself. And that one you see at the right means that it is the resource with the ID 1. And more importantly, it also means that we are changing the rectangle shape of the enemy scene. I'm going to set it back to its previous size from here. Save this scene, and of course this one has changed as well, since they are both referring to the same resource. So to fix this, on the shape property we could either assign a new rectangle shape, or make this one unique, which is what I'll do. Edit it, and set its horizontal extension to 12. Back to the enemy scene, we see that the shape remains the same. Back to the enemy kamikaze scene, the reason for its name is because it goes really fast all the way down with the intention of hitting the player's ship. Given it, that behavior is quite simple. We just have to set a vertical velocity which I will set it to 350. If we run the scene, we see it's going all the way down. So now that we have created at least one enemy, we can start spawning enemies on the game stage, which we will be doing on the next video. As always, thanks so much to all my patrons, and I will see you in the next one.